Hey guys, so a classmate asked, what are logic gates and how are they used in computer science? To begin, let's understand what logic gates are used for in our computers. It should be noted that when we send information through our computers using wires, they represent ones and zeros. Computers need a way to manipulate those ones and zeros so that they can eventually do more complicated operations. Computers use logic gates to transform the ones and zeros from input wires, accepting such input values, and then outputting results based on their state. Logic circuits utilize these two values to denote the Boolean values true and false as 1 and 0 respectively. When it comes to their performance, logic circuits are similar to programming language functions in that the inputs are like the parameters we pass through our functions, while our outputs are similar to the return values of our functions. There are four main types of gates, NOT, AND, OR, and XOR. But what does each gate actually do? A NOT gate will invert or flip any input. If the input is a 1, then it will output a 0, and vice versa. What I just drew is called a truth table, which showcases our input A on the left and our output Y on the right. A truth table basically shows all the possible inputs and outputs for a logic circuit. This is how we would represent a NOT gate in diagram form. An AND gate will return a 1 if and only if both of the inputs were 1. If either or both inputs are 0, then the output will also be 0. An OR gate will return a 1 if either or both of the inputs are a 1. It will only return a zero if both inputs were a zero. The XOR gate will return a one if either, but not both, of the inputs are a one. If both or neither input is a one, then it will return a zero. There are also three gates which are the inverse of one of these main gates, N AND, N OR, and XNOR. These inverse gates are the equivalent of the main gate type followed by a NOT. But what does an inverse gate do? When looking at the NAND gate, we see that instead of returning a 1 if both inputs are 1, we get an output of 0, and with all other input combinations of 0, giving us an output of 1. The NOR gate inverses OR so that we only get 1 when both inputs are 0, and the XNOR gate inverses the XOR function so that we only get an output of 1 every time that both inputs are the same, with 1 and 1 alongside 0 and 0, giving us an output of 1. Represented here are some common notations that you need to know when using logic gates. Remember that these gates can have more than two inputs, with an example of a three input AND gate being shown here. Likewise, computers often chain logic gates together by taking the output from one gate and using it as an input to another gate. We call that a logic circuit. Circuits enables computers to do more complex operations than they could accomplish with just a single gate. These logic circuits rely on combinational logic to reach their outputs, and De Morgan's Law is a foundational concept to understand when creating such circuits. De Morgan's Law states that the complement of the union of two sets is equal to the intersection of their complements, and the complement of the intersection of two sets is equal to the union of their complements, represented like this in set theory, where for any two finite sets of A and B, we have the De Morgan's Law of union and the De Morgan's Law of intersection. We can relate this principle back to the notation that we had learned with our logic gates and realize that De Morgan's law proves that not A or B equals not A and not B, and not A and B equals not A or not B. I hope this video helped you to learn more about logic gates and their applications to computer science.